With the release of several new rapier talents, I think it's only fair to see how this weapon class holds up in the current PvP climate. It's punchy, and today we're investigating one of my favorite weapons of all time to see how it's used in everyday combat. Throughout Deep Oaken history, I think there's only been three major times where rapiers were truly popular. Of course, that means a lot of people are using them, but personally, I have always liked them and they still have always been good. Anyway, those times would probably have to be around their release, you know, they're relatively new, and right after the YouTuber tournament, both Agamatsu and Rom were using rapiers with tacit dropkick because everybody thought that was good and lag because, well, it was good, and I think it's become popular right now. In the current Deep Oaken meta, everything is about swing speed and quick burst damage. For players like you and me, we might play completely differently, but high ranking players optimize every part of their build and take advantage of that exact swing speed. You're able to apply pressure and react to mantras, but you also have that range and critical to protect yourself from incoming players. These new talents are pretty sweet, but Rapier has been good for a long time, so let's see how truly impactful these talents were. Duelist lunge allows players to move further with their next dash attack after hitting a critical, which is pretty decent. There's already a lot of incentive to use dash attacks and criticals with a rapier, and this makes it even better, so I would pick this. The next talent, Frenzy Dance, I don't think is very good at all. I mean, I think it's alright, but rapier is so good, probably the best for removing posture. Like, when your posture is about to pop, you deal more posture damage and chip damage with Frenzy Dance, which is kinda weak. In this current meta, blocking and weapons like the Light Spinal Toll are used a lot, and if you cannot parry that, you'll build up a lot of posture. Posture. Well, to remove all that posture, just use a rapier and crit. It doesn't matter if they block, get hit, or it's parried. Anything you do with this crit will remove all that posture if you have that critical attack talent, and yeah, you're all good. I don't expect a lot of people to run Frenzy Dance. The final talent that was pulled up was Pressure Skewer. After flourishing somebody, all your M1s deal extra blood loss and chip damage, which is that even useful? The chip damage is great, blood loss not so much, but you have to maintain this invincibility basically and take zero damage to uphold this buff. If I'm being honest, this talent is cool, but I would rather pick something else. That being said, the new talents do little to actually improve rapiers, but the weapon class itself is very, very good. If you're casual, you might not see this weapon too often in North American servers, but a lot of EU players have been making it meta, and no, this is not a swashbuckling joke, high rank EU players have been using this effectively. I think rapier is a great option for any type of playstyle, and I learned how to space effectively using this weapon. Medium weapons are of course versatile, but I learned to back up and apply pressure effectively using the rapier. Try this out if you're new to combat. They swing fast, synergize with almost every single multi-hit enchant, and it's very easy to deal with posture damage. Anyway, rapiers are a solid pick in current day Deep Oaken PvP, and I think they're meta. Tell me down below what you think about rapiers, and make sure to like and subscribe. We're almost at 52,000 subscribers, so let's reach that. As always, have a good one, and it's punching time.